From the KHOU 11 studios, this is H-Town Rush. First at 6.30, breaking news. A major wreck on I-45 in the Woodlands, an 18-wheeler and a Greyhound bus crash. People are hurt, and it's a, it's a huge, huge mess for anyone that has to drive south into Houston from the far north side. Yeah, about a three-mile backup right now. I broke this news on Twitter about 90 minutes ago. We've been live streaming coverage for you on Facebook, and we've got the app fired up with the latest information so you can keep track of the traffic. Yeah, our team's been getting those new details in. We're going to send out alerts on your phone as we learn more for now. Let's kick off the rush block with Michelle Choi, who is live along I-45. Michelle? Guys, talk about a traffic mess. This is a live look at that mess right now here along I-45 near Lake Woodlands Drive. You can see the semi that crashed into that Greyhound bus earlier is still here. We also can see hazmat crews have arrived. Now, guys, Air 11 giving us a real bird's eye view of this scene, and it's a complete mess. Shattered glass, a damaged highway sign, and those two mangled wrecks. Take a look at the video of the wreck here at ground level. Cause when DPS says a semi crashed into a Greyhound bus carrying 30 passengers earlier this morning. Now DPS says this Greyhound bus had actually broken down and was parked on the outside shoulder of the freeway when the semi slammed into it. Right now we know that at least four people uh, on board were hurt and rushed to a hospital. Fortunately, we're told their injuries are non life threatening. However, the semi driver is in critical condition. Again, guys, a live look here along the southbound lanes on the other side. Uh, they are all shut down at this point. And Doug, you've been watching this uh, for the last hour or so. Tell us about the traffic impact right now. Yeah, you know, at 5 a.m., the freeway was completely shut down. Thankfully, now they have what looks like three lanes squeezing by at Lake Woodlands Drive, but there's still significant delays of two to three miles in the area. I'm going to zoom in. I'll drop out the weather radar to clear up this map, and you can see heading southbound is where it's going to start to stack up at Lake Woodlands Drive with all southbound lanes still somewhat impacted. You can detour to 242 east if you want to head eastbound. If you're on the east side of I-45, use that to connect to Grand Parkway on FM 1314. The best route for you right now is still the westbound on 242. People that live in the Woodlands aren't going to like this idea, but use Gosling to Woodlands Parkway. Once you get to Woodlands Parkway, I-45 clears up again. You don't need to take the Hardy Toll Road elsewhere this morning. Looking at your travel times, those travel speeds are about what you'd expect for this time in the morning. Just starting to tap the brakes due to the normal rush hour on the Katy Freeway. Pin Oak to downtown, 36 minutes right now. Cheetah. Well,